All right, so it's Halloween time now, which means it's also pumpkin patch time. It's time to go get a pumpkin, carve it up nice and scary, and put it outside for all the little trick-or-treaters to see. Mommy, that witch pumpkin sure is scary. Don't look at it, little Susie. Legend has it that she eats little children and gets DWIs. Now, when I was a kid, I would always go to the pumpkin patch with my friend David, and it was a pretty good time. His mom would take us and let us run amok while she would go get hot apple cider and look at dumbass decorations. You know, mom shit. So off we go to the pumpkin patch, and on this year in particular is a little different because this year we brought our friend Michael along. And Michael is an idiot, which I've said many a many a cartoon. His ass doesn't know how to pick out a good pumpkin. It's a big deal when you're a kid. You gotta get the perfect pumpkin. My god, it's perfectly round, it's the correct shade of orange, and it's smoother than the bare ass of a nine-month-old. I'll take it. Meanwhile, you got Michael over there. Check out this weird-looking pumpkin. Doesn't it kind of look like a dragon? Michael, that is a goddamn squash, you idiot. And it looks more like a goddamn penis than a dragon. So there we are, we got our pumpkins. We're walking around the pumpkin patch with Michael's dick-shaped squash. Look, I got a dragon! Blah, 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 blah! Hey, check it out, that kid's waving around a fucking sex toy. Wow, this pumpkin patch is really going to shit. Now, this pumpkin patch, there was a few other things to do besides picking out pumpkins, but it wasn't really anything special. I mean, they try to spice everything up to make it sound really fun and exciting. You guys wanna go on the super amazing, one-of-a-kind, jaw-dropping, holy shit, hayride? Yeah, that sounds sweet, let's do it. Wow, whoopee! They'd have, like, one rickety-ass carnival ride that was super haphazard and dangerous as hell. You kids want to ride on the fireball? Uh, why do you call it the fireball? Oh, because last year it caught on fire and murdered a whole school field trip. Oh, okay, sounds like fun. But the one decent thing that this pumpkin patch had had to be the corn maze. And this corn maze was huge. This ain't no back of the cereal box bullshit maze you could figure out in nine seconds. No, this was a giant fucking hedge maze from the Shining type deal. You guys wanna go on the super duper mega monster holy hell corn maze? What the hell, a corn maze? Why the fuck would you wanna get lost on purpose? Well, what else are we gonna do? Go on the fireball again? No, no, no. I'm not trying to break my pelvis on the goddamn fireball. All right, let's go ahead and do the stupid corn maze then. So we walk in there, and at first it's kind of fun. I guess it's not too too bad, it's kinda neat. But then 20 minutes later go by and you're like, get me the fuck out of here! Who the hell decided to get lost on purpose? What a bad idea this was. So now we're running out of time. David's mom's already at the checkout buying our pumpkins. Why, that's a very well-endowed squash you have there, ma'am. Uh, thank you. So at this point, we're not even having fun anymore. Ah, uh, fuck this. Let's just keep going left. If we keep going left, we'll get out of here. Michael, you idiot. If you go left three times, you'll just end up at the same spot you were just at. Why don't you just let your Christopher Columbus ass leave it to me? So now we've been stuck in this corn maze for a goddamn eternity. Who knows how long it was? 20? Maybe 30 fucking minutes? Who knows? A long ass time for being in a goddamn corn maze, that's for sure. Also, we got Michael starting to freak out. Oh my god, this is just like the Blair Witch Project. We're gonna die in these goddamn woods. Do you got a map? Where's the map at? Did you kick the map in the river? We're all gonna fucking die! Michael, calm down. Jesus, it's about survival at this point. We've been in here 30 minutes. Starvation's gonna kick in at any minute. Somebody has to volunteer to get eaten. Ready? One, two, three. Not it. Not it. Not it. Oh, God damn it! Look, if we would have just kept going left, nobody would have to be eaten. To hell with you guys. I'm going out on my own. So Michael takes off on his own, all set with his go left only approach. Wow, he's such an idiot. Have fun going in circles, you stupid idiot. So now we're down to the two of us. And if we don't get out of here quick, David's mom's gonna start freaking out. We're gonna have our faces on milk cartons and shit. So we continue walking around, wandering around aimlessly like a couple of idiots. I wonder if Michael made it out yet. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Michael's ass is probably dead by now. We just have to stay focused. Eventually we reach the point where we're not gonna be able to figure out this goddamn corn maze. So what do we decide to do? Well, we cheat is what we do. We keep looking over the goddamn corn stalks to try to figure out where the fuck we are in life, try to get a general idea of which direction to head in. Oh, I think we're almost out of here. I can see the fireball murdering children left and right. So finally, we get out of this godforsaken corn maze. We stumble outside of the exit, except it wasn't really the exit. It was the goddamn entrance. Holy hell, we just walked around this stupid ass corn maze all for nothing. And to make matters worse, Michael's already out there waiting for us with his goddamn wiener squash. Motherfucker just kept going left and got out of there. Yeah, I told you it'd work. Who looks like the stupid idiot now? Hey, kid, drop that fucking sex toy. You're scaring the children. BruceDude.com